Hello everyone, welcome back to Doodling Through Education. Today we have a science video. For my CC students, this video is going to correlate with cycle three, week four of the science memory work. For everyone else, that just means that we are going to be talking about the three different parts of our nervous system. So in this video, we're gonna break down those three different parts, um, and then we're going to break each part down a little bit further in some cases. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start doodling. The nervous system in our body has three parts, and these three parts are the brain, the spinal cord, and a complex network of nerves. This system works together and sends messages back and forth between the brain and the body. To start, it's important to note that the nervous system is actually divided into two categories that these three parts fall into. The first category is the central nervous system. And the central nervous system includes two of those parts. It includes the brain and the spinal cord. The second category is the peripheral nervous system. And this includes our third part. It includes that network of nerves that run through the body. So let's dive into this first part of our nervous system, the brain. The brain is incredibly important to you for life, and God designed it this way. A fun fact about the brain is that it only weighs about three pounds. It also has many folds and grooves that store important information. Now within the brain, there are three parts to it, the cerebrum, the brain stem, and the cerebellum. The cerebrum is the biggest part of the brain, and the cerebrum has four different lobes. So I just wanna pause here and just map out where we are really quickly. Our nervous system has three parts. One of those parts is our brain. The brain has three parts, and one of those parts is the cerebrum. So brain, cerebrum, and the cerebrum actually has four lobes. So follow me through that pathway. Three parts in our nervous system. One of those parts is our brain. Three parts in our brain. One of those parts is our cerebrum. It makes up the most of our brain. And within the cerebrum, there's four lobes. So I just wanted to make sure that you're following that map down correctly. So let's dive into the four lobes of our cerebrum. So here we go. The first lobe is the frontal lobe. This lobe is involved in complex thinking, imagining, and making decisions. It's located right behind your forehead, right in the front, hence the name. Next is the parietal lobe, and this lobe processes information about touch, taste, and temperature. It is located behind the frontal lobe. Next is the temporal lobe. This lobe helps us to understand um, our language as well as sounds, recognize objects and faces, and it is located near the ears. And the last lobe in the cerebrum is the occipital lobe, and this lobe processes light and other information that you get from your eyes and lets us know what we're seeing. This lobe is located in the back of your brain. Now, the cerebrum or the 
biggest part of our brain has two halves called hemispheres. There's a band of fibrous nerves that connect them in the middle, and this helps each of the hemispheres exchange information. And it's actually quite interesting because the left hemisphere controls the movements on the right side of the body, and the right hemisphere controls the movements on the left side of the body. The next part of the brain is the cerebellum, and it is actually located behind the cerebrum, and it is given this nickname that I think is so funny. It's called the little brain because it looks like a miniature version of your cerebrum. Um, this part of your brain is primarily responsible for balancing, movement, and coordination. The last part of the brain is your brain stem. And this part of the brain simply connects the brain and the spinal cord. The different parts of the brain stem work together to coordinate the messages that are going to be going in and out of the brain. And interestingly, the brain stem also controls many body functions that we don't think about. And we remember from our last video that is called involuntary body functions. And these are things like breathing, heart rate, swallowing, and digestion. So that was the brain. That's just one part of our nervous system, um, but we broke it down into lots of different parts because it is a complex part of the nervous system. The next two um, parts of the nervous system we're not going to dive as deep into. So let's go ahead and look at those. The next part of the nervous system is our spinal cord. And the spinal cord directs signals from the brain to the body. The spinal cord actually has three different sections that, lung, that run the length of the spine. Each section's name describes the part of the spine it passes through. So first, the cervical spine is up at the top by your neck, and it sends nerves to your face and neck. Next is the thoracic spinal cord, and this part of your spinal cord sends nerves to your arms, chest, and abdomen. And last is the lumbar sacral spinal cord, and that part of your spinal cord actually sends nerves to the lower body. The last part of our nervous system are the nerves. These are located throughout your whole body and are in charge of delivering the messages that your brain sends out down your spinal cord and to the different parts of your body. It's important to note too that they are also responsible for receiving the information from the different parts of your body and sending them back to your brain. For example, if you see a cliff um, when you're standing on a mountain, your eyes send a message to your brain with what it is seeing, which allows you to think about what you see, and then your brain sends back a message through your spinal cord to your nerves in your muscles to move away from this cliff so you will not fall and perhaps it will help you to find safety. So let's break down the nerve part of our nervous system into two parts. The first part of our nerves are the somatic nervous system nerves and they control the actions we do by choice, like running, dancing, or even playing the violin. The autonomic nervous system nerves controls the processes that happen automatically. So these are those involuntary 
processes that I was talking about, like breathing, digestion, sweating, and even shivering. So remember the different parts of the brain that send these messages, right? These nervous systems deliver these messages to those parts of the body. And that is all we have for today. Remember to take this information that you have learned, think it over and talk it over with your parents or your siblings. Think about how all the different parts of your nervous system affects your daily life and how you use them. Um, and remember that God created you this way for all of these pathways to work together and it's amazing. So remember if you haven't already to go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you never miss an episode of Doodling Through Education. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.